everybody. May the good Lord be with you and guide you and protect you. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Today, I want to share with you 10 things you should always keep to yourself. Some things are better left unsaid. If you share everything about yourself with others, it might confuse them. No one likes a person who is constantly bragging about their life choices. It's not wrong to keep some things inside. Number one is your biggest goals. Do not share your biggest goals with anyone else. Why you work very hard to reach your goals. The people around you might cause confusion in your head with their opinions. Everyone's life is different and the opinions change according to their life choices. For this reason, don't let anybody take you away from your path. Follow your goals no matter what they say. Number three is the favors you do. Always make sure that you don't talk about the good things you have done for others. For those who can see your kind actions, they don't need further explanations. It can also make them feel humiliated when you talk about your own actions. If you are doing good just to brag about yourself, does that count as good? Be kind. Be humble. Doing good should be like that. Number three is your lifestyle. You know, I do this, I bought this, I get this, I run every morning for an hour, I sleep every... Ah, why? Do people need to know every single detail of your life? Ask yourself this. Next time you start to talk about your unique lifestyle choices, if you have some things right on track, good for you. But don't use your sources to make others feel bad. Don't live your life to prove yourself to others. Live just for yourself. Number four is the times you save, you save the day. Talking and bragging about the things you were brave about is another behavior to avoid. Every living day is a struggle on its own. Don't think that other people are not struggling just like you. Think about it. Would you enjoy a person if they were constantly talking about their heroic behavior? Probably not. Number five is your philosophy towards life, what you think about life. Everyone needs to believe in something to get through the day. However, the things that provide relief are different for everyone. For this reason, your individual preferences and beliefs are yours alone. Don't spend your precious time convincing others to think like you. Number six is problems and conflicts in your family. So many people do that. They just open up their cells. What is happening? No, those things are not good. They are wrong. Don't do it. The more you talk about the problems in your family, the more it becomes difficult. Something are better kept inside. It is easier to talk with the source of problem than sharing it with strangers. Be patient and try compromising. Talk to God about your problems. Talk to Almighty God who understands you, who knows you, who is your father about your problems. People may deceive you. They will tell you what to do and when you do that, problems will come up from your home. Do you want you and your spouse to be quarreling? Please, avoid that. Number seven is unpleasant facts you know about others. Please, don't be that person. Don't talk about the private life of others. Maybe your friend told you a secret about herself. You go and open up to somewhere. Maybe your friend told you, I want to start this business so, so time. Just because I don't have the money to, to start it. You behave like a good person. Ask the person, how much can you use to start that business? You can't help your friend. You just go at her back. Because you have the money, just go immediately and start the business. That thing is not good. Don't gossip about them. Don't spend your time thinking about these unnecessary things. Always remember to mind your own business. Okay? Number eight is 
your biggest fears and weaknesses. We all have our fears and weaknesses. Although these things might seem unbearable at times, it is possible to live with them. Sharing these fears will not provide you comfort. Since people enjoy seeing other people's weaknesses, the only thing you can do is to be aware of those weaknesses and accept them. And again, another thing I want to tell you, pray. If prayer is not going through fast, you can fast for one day or three days. Almighty God will answer you. God hears prayer. If there is any power that is against your life, believe this. You see what God will do. God will hear your prayer and everything will be okay for you in Jesus' name. Amen. Number nine is your resentment about the past. Constantly digging up the past is not going to help. Though past experience can easily affect today. Do not let this define the moment you are in. The best thing you can do is to express yourself in the moment. This way you can prevent past regrets and resentments. Forgive others in order to be peaceful. Move on and let go. Okay? You see, some people just think that they can come out and be exposing themselves. That person you call your friend may not be a true friend because there are unfriendly friends anywhere you can be saying another thing it will change it to another thing please be careful number 10 is things you share with your with other people it's normal to be open around your significant other but don't share the details of a previous relationship just to make yourself look better in the moment. The past is in the past. Don't make it a subject between you and your loved one. This thing is very, very important. Okay? Don't. Another thing is the talents you owe. (laughs) This one is actually something you can share with others, but... I just want to include this in this video. This one in the least because because talents have becoming something to brag on in public. If you have special talents, don't talk about them constantly. Only talk about them when the right time comes. You know that actions speak louder than words. Apply this principle wherever you can. And I'm always praying that God Almighty will be with you and bless you, guide you and protect you. Don't take yourself outside. Please, there is something called secret. Keep your secret. Keep your secret and it will help you. The only person you can talk to, can take your secrets to, is Almighty God. You say you should call upon me, go into your closet and talk to me. I will hear. God didn't tell you he will not hear your prayers. Almighty God is here to help you in time of need, in time of sorrow. Whatever load you carry, give it to Jesus Christ. He will make a way for you. He is the only friend that cannot bring you out. He is the only friend that can keep your secret secret. That person you call your friend, do you know if he's your friend? Check yourself. Just go and check yourself. Always be calm. Whenever there is any problem, be calm. Pray. Hand it over to Almighty God. He is the only truth. He is the only way. He is the only life you have. That friend may betray you tomorrow, you know. That friend you trust so much may destroy your home. That secret, you, you, you say, this is my friend. Let me tell him my secret. My friend, as I tell you this secret, please don't tell other people. You, you, you don't mean it. Tomorrow you hear it in the church. Tomorrow you hear it broadcasting it. Your friend will say, hey, I just uh, this. No. Keep it to yourself. Child of God. The Lord loves you. Jesus Christ loves you. Come to Jesus Christ today. And you will be made whole. May the Lord bless you. 
May the Lord guide you. May the Lord protect you. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen.